Welcome back to the Kiosk Presents. My guest today is John Chu. He's the director of G.I. Joe Retaliation, the Step Up Movies, Justin Bieber's Never Say Never, and now Justin Bieber's Believe Tour 2013. John Chu, welcome to the Kiosk Presents. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So you're, it's more of a documentary, this Justin Bieber's Believe Tour 2013. What are you showcasing in this? Um, you know, you get to see the truth about who Justin Bieber has, has become in the last year. I think you get to see a transition of a boy taking ownership of his art, becoming an artist, becoming the uh, sort of the, the leader of his, uh, of his empire. Um, and I think it, it's a look that you, you never get. It's, it's, not, it's not an MTV diary sort of thing where he's just, you know, talking to the camera. This is a look at, um, at a pop icon. Uh, in, a, in a very difficult uh, transition period in their life. So what was it wor like working with Justin Bieber? Um, I, I really love the kid, to be honest. I've known him for a few years now, um, and he's one of the most charming people you ever, ever meet. He loves getting in trouble. He loves being rebellious, uh, which it can be frustrating at times. Um, and, but at the same time, uh, he's, he's a really good kid. I, that's the reason why I wanted to come back and, and from Never Say Never and do a movie like this uh, and tell a story like this, that he's a human being like the rest of us and that he's struggling in the same way that we struggle every day um, and that the half the rumors you hear are, are false and the other half are, are exaggerations, yet he's not as perfect as he may portray himself to be either. I think those things are what make him interesting. I think that's uh, why the movie uh, makes sense. And then when you watch it, you see him not as a product, but um, as someone who's trying to get through life. And I think that's, that's admirable that he gets through it in the way he does, actually. So what is the difference between Never Say Never, the first uh, movie that you did with Justin Bieber, and now uh, the Believe Tour? Yeah, well, this one is very... Um this one is much more mature, to be honest. It still has the spectacle and show of, of, of his tour. It's a big show. It's a crazy, fun adventure you go on with the show. But behind the scenes, I think you get, um, you get to hear about heartbreak. You get to hear about directing his first music video. You get to hear about uh, the things that happened in the press or, or the idea that history is against him, that um, you know, all these young stars who've made it big, many, many of them have not uh, uh, escaped the train wreck. And so how does, he, how does he make the choices in his life to make sure he doesn't? I think we, we, we cover all those things and, and you get a look at him uh, unlike anything before, there's nothing sort of packaged about that. And I wanted to, as a filmmaker, I wanted to make sure that we gave that to the audience, um, that it wasn't just a, a fluff piece of any sort, that you got to experience who he was through both his music, uh, through the show, and also uh, uh, intimate uh, moments. So something interesting that I read about you, I, I do kind of know that you like to incorporate dance moves into things. You brought us the Step Up movies. <laughs> yes. But you also directed the Microsoft Surface commercials where everybody's dancing with, com with, the, with the computers and the tablets. Yes, yes. Uh, that those are such fantastic, fun commercials. Oh, thank you. We had a lot of fun making those. We actually just did another one, the Virgin America in-flight safety video, where they're singing and dancing the, the safety stuff. And uh, I love mm -hmm. dance. Dance movement, to me, tells more story about anything than dialogue, to be honest. Even when, uh, uh, when Sid Charisse would take off her coat, it said more about her. Or when The Rock walks into a scene, the way he has his shoulders says more about him than, than any dialogue can. So I love that movement. Uh, tells us about who you are as a person more than anything else. Do you have a background in dance, or do you just it's just something that you really love? I mean, I took dance as a kid, not not very little, but um, uh, I was around a lot of dancers, and I love dancers. I think that they are uh, uh, the perfect artists; that they uh, their bodies are perfectly tuned to create their art, um, and that they love it more than anything. So I love being around them, and I love the energy of when you get to shoot them. Um, uh, in making something, so. So what's coming up next for you? Um, well, we, uh, I can't wait for this movie to come out next week, and at the same time, uh, we're working on G.I. Joe 3, uh, an action movie. So very different ideas and mm -hmm. different things, um, but, uh, but that's why I love storytelling. You can jump and, and change your life in a second and go into a whole other world. Um, but at the very core of it, it's always about human beings. It's always about our struggle through this life and figuring things out. And, uh, and I think through all my movies, whether it's a dance movie or a Justin Bieber movie, uh, that center core is always sort of there. Well, John Chu, thank you so much for joining us here on The Kiosk thank Presents you. in Buffalo and Western New York. Everybody check out Justin Bieber's Believe Tour 2013, rated PG, coming out December 24th. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. We'll see you.